Thank you for listening to Read BBS. Ciao. Read BBS. BBS. Floyd, Floyd, Floyd. <clears throat> so Floyd Mayweather speaks on Bud, Terrence Bud Crawford, among other things, suggesting that since Bud Crawford and Benavidez, David Benavidez, El Monstro, El Bandera Roja, David Benavidez, Floyd is suggesting since both of them long for Canelo, why don't they fight each other in the interim? Additionally, Floyd's also calling for Bud to face Jerron Boots Ennis. Yeah, so Floyd, he all up in Bud's business for some reason lately. Now, on one hand, I'm thinking, how dare you demand something of someone else that you wouldn't do your damn self? How would you suggest something you wouldn't do your damn self, Floyd? And I'll get more into that in a second. But this is Floyd. This is Floyd, who, despite his accolades and fortune, he's insecure as fuck. Let's just say what it is, all you fanboys out there. He's insecure as fuck. When it boils down to it, he's insecure as fuck. Flashing his wealth and all that. That's his business. That's his money. He fought for it. He earned it. But he flashes it like he's 15 years old or some shit. The way an insecure motherfucker would. Surrounding himself with yes men and courtesy laughter like an insecure motherfucker. It is what it is. To be fair and to be complete at 130, 135, and 140 pounds, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather is above and beyond, above and beyond reproach. Not so much at 147, however, where money Mayweather, money may. Not pretty boy Floyd, but Money Mayweather carefully selected his opponents, waiting for signs of vulnerability in some and upset losses for the others. So what Floyd is doing here, it's, it's transparent. He's trying to protect his own legacy by throwing shade at Bud, by throwing these mountains and suggestions at Bud. Floyd is trying to protect his own legacy because you see post Spence Crawford since post Spence Crawford, uh, Bud, he's being he's 40 and 0 now. And Floyd being 50 and 0, Floyd is threatened by the fact that Bud Crawford is 40 and 0. Even though Bud has made it clear he's not even focused on 50 and 0 and breaking records and whatnot. Floyd is threatened by that 40 and 0, just as he was threatened by Deontay Wilder pre Tyson Fury. Back when Wilder was 40 and 0 with 40 something knockouts. Floyd was threatened by that. And low-key, going even further, low-key, I've said for years that Floyd promoted Tank Davis in a way to ensure that, A, Tank got his, Tank getting his paper. But more importantly, he promoted Tank in a way where Tank would never approach the same level of greatness that Floyd uh, was able to attain. Floyd don't want no one to, to, do, to do what he did. He don't want no one to step on his proverbial toes. Now, Floyd, he's got Tank following the Money Bay model, but not the Pretty Boy Floyd model. Pretty Boy Floyd was a great fighter. Money Bay is just that, a great money maker. And that's what Tank aims to be, it seems. And, you know, no more than that. Fistically, fistically speaking, that's all Tank wants to be, so fine. But yeah, this Bud Benavidez shit, come on, man. Come on, man. Bud is undisputed at 47. He said he would fight Canelo at 68. Jump up all them weight classes. Jump up past 54, past 60, to 68 for Canelo. Not to campaign, not to fight other super middleweights. And Floyd knows this. Floyd would not have done that. Floyd ain't never jumped no three motherfucking weight classes at once. For, a mother, for one fight. He's never done that and never would have done that at any point in his career. So to suggest that Bud Crawford do that is fuck shit. It's fuck shit. And I'll explain to you uh, the, 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 the uh, motive behind it, what Floyd's idea is behind it. He wants to get Bud beat, basically. Now, Bud versus Boots, that could happen with the Spence rematch looking all but forgotten and Charlo sitting somewhere over there in limbo 
and Canelo, Canelo no longer with PBC. If I'm not mistaken, Bud still owes PBC a fight contractually. And uh, Canelo, that ain't happening. So Bud gonna have to fight somebody, somebody eventually. But yeah, Floyd, you know, he's funny. Not he, he, ha, ha, funny. But Floyd is funny in how he moves and why he moves as such. Remember how gleeful, remember how gleeful and joyous this motherfucker looked sitting ringside during Wilder Fury 1 as Wilder's record received its first of uh, soon-to-come other blemishes. Floyd couldn't have been happier sitting there watching Wilder receive that first blemish because his 50-0 was no longer in jeopardy. Leaking the tank and damn sparring video. Hey, you know, let's not pretend that Floyd ain't sitting here Looking at Dev some type of way now. The Dev is starting to creep up on him. Dev's undefeated at like 30 and 0, if I'm not mistaken. And he's he's following the Floyd group, uh, blueprint. Floyd's threatened by that. That's why he leaked the Tank Dev sparring video. And now this, acting like you're in a position of influence with Terrence Bud Crawford, demanding he face Benavidez at 68 or boots. It's like this. Floyd doesn't want anybody to outdo him. Especially a fellow black fighter. It's sad, it's petty, as fuck, it's insecure, and it's 100% who, who, Floyd Mayweather, Money May is. Read BBS, BBS. Black Burke Sugar, Bachelor of Boxing Studies. Television, Fred Sanford of the Mystic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.